New York Yankees former pitchers Mike Messina and Mariano Rivera put on jerseys at a press conference after being elected into the Hall of Fame. Danielle Parhiskarin slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Network Since Mike Messina was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame on Tuesday, he's had one burning question facing him, Yankees or Orioles cap? Well, a decision has been made, the right-hander will enter the Hall of Fame with neither the Yankees nor Orioles cap on his plaque. Instead, he will enter with no logo, according to MLB.com's Brian Hoke, the decision was not Messina's, or at least not entirely his, though, the Hall of Fame makes the final approval on which cap a player wears but they do seek input from players, Messina, who spent 10 years with the Orioles before joining the Yankees for eight seasons, said he would not be able to choose one over the other during a press conference earlier this week, I almost split my career down the middle with two organizations, Messina said. Right now I couldn't sit here and choose one or the other. They're both instrumental in me sitting here, Messina is not the only one of this class going into the hall with no team. The late Roy Halladay, who spent his career with the Blue Jays and Phillies, will also have no logo. Greg Maddox, Tony La Russa and Catfish Hunter are among other Hall of Famers who have no logo on their plaques. Related, Yankees announce Adam Ottavino signing, will wear no. Zero greater than greater than read more related, Mariano Rivera says he will teach pitching with Yankees greater than greater than read more related, which cap should Mike Messina wear, Yankees or O's? Greater than greater than read more September 28, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies relief pitcher Adam Ottavino, zero, delivers a pitch in the eighth inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Russell Lansford USA Today Sports Russell Lansford before joining the Yankees, veteran bullpen arm Adam Adovina made a very bold claim about one of their most celebrated players not just in franchise history, but in the history of the game. Adovino said he would strike out Babe Ruth every time on MLB's StatCast podcast, and it made headlines pretty quickly. Well, Ottavino thought it's smart to walk back those comments a tad during his first conference call with New York media on Friday afternoon, according to the Athletics' Lindsay Adler. Ottavino admitted that while explaining the evolution of baseball, he could have chose a better example than the great Bambino. The Yankees have been in pursuit of free agent 3B, SS Manny Machado, who is reportedly looking for a deal that will pay him roughly $300 million over 10 years. Here are the latest rumors, Jan. 25, 12 p.m., SNY's Andy Martino has heard that the Yankees' offer to Machado, or the parameters discussed if not a formal offer, is low, but he cannot confirm exact years or money yet. But keep in mind, the Bombers are still in touch with Machado and are not out by any stretch. Yankees signed with Adam Adovino 0 hours 0 minutes and 39 seconds SNY Baseball Insider Andy Martino likes the Yankees signing of Adam Adovino, here's how he thinks it will impact their alley's chances. The Yankees have signed free agent reliever Adam Adovino to a three-year contract through the 2021 season, the team announced on Thursday. The deal was reported to be worth $27 million. Adovino will wear no. Zero for the Yankees, becoming the first player in franchise history to sport the uniform number. After the official signing, the Yankees' 40-man roster is now at 40 players. Ottavino, 33, is coming off a huge season where he had a 2.43 era, 2.74 FIP, and 112 strikeouts in 77.2 innings, or a 13K-9 ratio and did it while pitching his home games hitter-friendly Coors Field with the Rockies. His 0.99 whip in 2018 was much improved from a 1.63 whip with a 5.06 era in 2017. Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred gestures while speaking during a Major League Baseball owners meeting on Tuesday, February 20, 2018 in Glendale, Arizona. AP Photo, Ben Margo, Ben Margo, AP, Major League Baseball is proposing new rule changes, according to Ronald Bloom of the Associated Press, the league wants to return to a 15-day disabled list and increase the time option players must spend in the minor leagues. The purpose of these changes would be to reduce the use of relief pitchers and revive offense. Mariano Rivera pitched a scoreless ninth inning.
AP, re-enter Sandman, Mariano Rivera, elected unanimously to the Baseball Hall of Fame on Tuesday, plans to be involved with the Yankees again in 2019. In an interview with MLB Network Radio CJ Nitkowski on Thursday, the former Yankees closer revealed he will be teaching pitching in some capacity with the team this year. New York Yankees former pitchers Mike Messina and Mariano Rivera put on jerseys at a press conference after being elected into the Hall of Fame. Danielle Parhiskarin slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Network Mike Messina still can't get used to the fact he can call himself a Hall of Famer. On his sixth year on the ballot, Messina received 76.7% of the Baseball Writers Association of America's vote and will join Mariano Rivera, Edgar Martinez and the late Roy Halladay in Cooperstown. But Messina has a question to answer, which cap will he don? When Mariano Rivera was elected to the Hall of Fame in unanimous fashion on Tuesday, pretty much everyone, including SNY, noted that he was the first ever unanimous selection. Specifically, it was noted that Rivera was the first player to ever be named on 100% of the ballots that were submitted. But was he really the first unanimous selection to the National Baseball Hall of Fame? Is there a chance another legendary Yankee was actually the first unanimous selection? August 13, 2016, Bronx, NY, USA, former New York Yankees Derek Jeter leaves the field following a ceremony for the reunion of the 1996 World Series championship team prior to a game against the Tampa Bay Rays at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Adam Hunger USA Today Sports, Adam Hunger, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives Babe Ruth and many others couldn't do it, and so went the notion that no player would ever be enshrined in the National Baseball Hall of Fame while amassing 100% of the vote. That's until Mariano Rivera perfectly closed out his first appearance on the ballot. Mariano Rivera Hoff Presser 0 hours 3 minutes and 18 seconds Mariano Rivera speaks about his love for wearing pinstripes, Edgar Martinez always giving him trouble and more at his Hoff Press conference. On Tuesday night, Mariano Rivera was not only told he would enter the Baseball Hall of Fame this summer, but he was the first ever player to receive 100% of votes, so, as one would expect, Rivera was all smiles and laughs at the Hall of Fame press conference that involved Edgar Martinez and former teammate Mike Messina as well as the family of the late Roy Halladay, who was also elected to the Hall. From his lowest points to his highest, Rivera reflected on how he eventually became the best closer in the game. And he also told Martinez that he owes him dinner for helping him get into the Hall, too. Best of Mike Messina Hoff Sound 0 hours 3 minutes and 8 seconds Mike Messina was elected to the Hall of Fame, he talks everything from favorite moments to almost being perfect. To say Mike Messina was a little caught off guard about getting voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame would be an understatement. Messina was coaching his son's basketball team when he got the official call that he had made it, and that type of humor continued in his official press conference with the other inductees Edgar Martinez, fellow Yankee Mariano Rivera, and the Roy Halladay family on hand. Moose reflected on his rise to the Hall of Fame, touching on the numerous almosts from his multiple no-hitters in World Series win. New York Yankees starting pitcher Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP photo, Nick was is AP, it's not you, it's me. The aftermath of the Sonny Gray and New York Yankees breakup revealed the right-hander has no explanation for what went wrong in New York. Whatever it was about the Bronx that made Gray pitch like a ghost of himself, rather than Oakland's all-star ground ball pitcher, served as a point of self-reflection for the 29-year-old. That's the question, isn't it? Gray told reporters during a conference call on Tuesday when asked what went wrong. I'm not going to lie. I felt comfortable taking the mound. It felt good. It just didn't work out. I don't know. I don't have an answer, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, the Yankees have a loaded outfield. Overloaded, in fact. New York's 25-man roster will consist of five outfielders, all of whom have been above average to elite players at varying points during their careers. 
Two of those outfielders are Jacoby Ellsbury and Brett Gardner, both 35 years old and on the wrong side of their production curves. They are potentially blocking 24-year-old Clint Frazier, who some believe can become an above-average outfielder himself. The Yankees' plans for Frazier appear hazy from the outside at this point. Frazier has plenty of potential and we have seen the electricity he can bring to the lineup. However, his 2018 season was wrought with the after-effects of a concussion that he simply could not shake. Frazier has been deemed healthy and according to his social media remarks, he is ready to fight for the starting job in left field. New York Yankees right fielder Estevan Florial hits an RBI single during the fourth inning against the Detroit Tigers at Publix Field at Joker Marchant Stadium. Kim Clement, USA Today Sports The Yankees have two players on the new baseball prospectus top 101 prospects list, and one they traded away in the deal for James Paxton also made the cut. RHP Jonathan Loisiga, no. 64, and of Estevan Florial, no. 66, made it for the Yanks, while LHP Justice Sheffield, who was sent to Seattle for Paxton, came in at no. 50. As far as the rest of the alleys, the Blue Jays' Vladimir Guerrero Jr. was no. One on the list, with Toronto having three other representatives, including SS Bo Bouchette, who came in at no. 12. The Rays, who have one of the best farm systems in baseball, had six players on the list, while the Orioles had three and the Red Sox had none. Former baseball player Alex Rodriguez sits in the stands before the start of a baseball game, Friday, June 23, 2017, in Miami. The Marlins announced the signings of their first three draft picks on Friday. 13 overall selection, Trevor Rogers, number 36 overall pick Brian Miller and number 51 Joe Dunn a Miami native and Rodriguez's nephew. AP Photo, Wilfred O'Lee, Wilfred O'Lee, AP, 7-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens and all-time home run leader Barry Bonds are making small steps in their pursuit of Hall of Fame nods. The athletes with tainted pet pasts began under the 40% mark of votes on their first try in 2014 and worked their way up to nearly 60% of votes in 2019. Clemens and Bonds have three more years of eligibility into the Hall if they garner 75% of the vote from the Baseball Writers Association of America, and Alex Rodriguez is jumping up and down, waving the pom-poms and cheering them on from the sidelines. Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, in prepping for Mariano Rivera's inevitable, dar, election to the Baseball Hall of Fame, I toured his pages on the indispensable baseball reference. To go there is to get lost in a rabbit hole of Rivera's pitching excellence, there's Rivera's absurd 205 career era plus, which is the best of all time, and his 652 saves, the most ever. For his ridiculous postseason numbers, 0.70 era, 0.759 whip, just two October homers and 141 high-pressure innings. Keep going, you might calculate the last digit of pi before you run out of fascinating Rivera numbers, heck, he even adds a signature number now, becoming the first player to get 100% of the vote on the ballots of members of the Baseball Writers Association of America, this one included. New York Yankees relief pitcher Mariano Rivera waves to the fans after the game against the Tampa Bay Rays at Yankee Stadium. John Munson, the star ledger USA Today Sports by becoming the first unanimous Hall of Fame selection in history on Tuesday night, legendary Yankees closer Mariano Rivera eclipsed some of the best players to ever play the game. Before Rivera reached the perfect voting percentage most deemed unattainable, the players with the four highest vote totals were, Messina deserves to be an HOF. Zero hours one minute and one second Sweeney Murdy argues that Mike Messina deserved to be elected into the Hall of Fame. It's his overall career that make him great.
Even Mike Messina did not think he would get in the Baseball Hall of Fame this year. The former Yankees pitcher had been trending slightly above the 75% threshold, but remained unfazed by it and did not plan anything special for the announcement on Tuesday night. In fact, he revealed on Tuesday that he was coaching his son's high school basketball team when he received the phone call at the end of his practice, American League. The American League defeated the National League 3-0. AP photo, Matt Slocum, Matt Slocum, AP, with legendary closer Mariano Rivera officially taking his place in Cooperstown among the immortals in the Hall of Fame, let's take a look back at his best Yankees moments. Click below to watch. October 9, 2017, Bronx, NY, USA, during Game 4 of the 2017 ALDS Playoff Baseball Series at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Adam Hunger USA Today Sports, Adam Hunger, Mariano Rivera made history on Tuesday when he became the first unanimous selection into baseball's Hall of Fame. The historic news was surprising, but hardly a shock to any of those who have spent a significant time around the closer during his 19-year career with the Yankees. Immediately following the news, Derek Jeter published a blog post on his website, The Players' Tribune, citing the only stat that he thought sums up Rivera's career. March 11, 2018, New York, New York, USA, a general view of Yankee Stadium before the game between the New York City and the Los Angeles Galaxy. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports Vincent Carchietta, with Mike Messina officially taking his place in Cooperstown among the immortals in the Hall of Fame, let's take a look back at his best Yankees moments. Click below to watch, Mariano Rivera pitched a scoreless ninth inning. AP, that Mariano Rivera would be a first ballot Hall of Famer was fait accompli the second he announced his retirement. But in getting elected, he did something no one before him had done, he got 100% of the vote. The Yankees legend, with his name checked off on all ballots cast was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame on Tuesday, along with Roy Halladay, Edgar Martinez, and fellow Yankees teammate Mike Messina. Due to Ryan Thibodeau's Hall of Fame ballot tracker, it had been known that Rivera's name had been checked off on all ballots that had been shared in public. What wasn't known was whether the ballots that were submitted but not in the tracker would have any that knocked Rivera off the 100% pace. They did not, Mariano Rivera is not the only Yankees pitcher that will be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame this summer, Mike Messina garnered 76.7% .7 of the 75% of the Votes necessary to join Rivera, Roy, Doc, Halliday and Edgar Martinez in the Hall of Fame class of 2019, Messina, 50, pitched 8 seasons with the Yankees and 10 with the Baltimore Orioles. He was a 5-time All-Star and 7-time Gold Glove Award winner, debating the Hall of Fame 0 hours 1 minute and 5 seconds Andy Martino and Mike Wickero debate whether the Baseball Hall of Fame is worth all the negativity when it comes time to vote. Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, with any luck, this will be the only Hall of Fame column I'll ever write, because my one opinion on the place is that it should not exist. That probably sounds unduly harsh, so let me back up and explain. This year marks my 10th in the Baseball Writers Association of America, which makes me eligible to vote for the first time. When Hall officials reached out late last year to see if I would be registering, it pained me to say no. What kid who grew up with baseball mania wouldn't want a say in who gets into Cooperstown? The building itself is a magical place, a must-visit for all fans that captures the power and romance of the game. Aaron Judge, 99, mandatory credit, Bob Dekiara USA Today Sports Bob Dekiara, the Yankees have had a relatively quiet offseason by their standards, so far resisting the urge to sign Manny Machado or Bryce Harper. Their biggest move to date has been a trade for Mariners ace James Paxton, and they've built their bullpen into a potential powerhouse. So, how many games should they expect to win in 2019? New York Yankees pitcher Mariano Rivera reacts after striking out Cleveland Indians Mark DeRosa to end the game during a Major League Baseball game Friday, April 17, 2009 in New York. The Yankees won 6-5. AP photo, Julie Jacobson, Julie Jacobson, AP, you may remember Bill Ballou, he's the telegram.
Well, he changed his mind about both of those things, Ballou said on Tuesday, the day Rivera is expected to receive 100% of the vote, that he submitted a Hall of Fame ballot and voted for Rivera, Sonny Gray out of the Bronx 0 hours 0 minutes and 34 seconds New York Yankees have shipped Sonny Gray to the Reds, a change of scenery might be best for the young pitcher. John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, Yankees GM Brian Cashman has made precious few mistakes in recent years while building a young playoff team via trades and homegrown player development, but his whiff on Sonny Gray officially went into the books on Monday when he traded the starting pitcher for a prospect and a draft choice. Even if the return on the three-way trade with the Reds and Mariners produces value in the coming years, and the Yankees are high on a 21-year-old outfielder named Josh Stowers, Gray's failure in New York can't be erased. Ideally he was supposed to be something akin to what Justin Verlander was for the Astros, a final piece of a championship puzzle. Instead, Gray left Yankee decision-makers dumbfounded by his apparent inability to cope with pitching in New York. Yankees get Stowers in Gray Deal 0 hours 0 minutes and 57 seconds New York Yankees traded away pitcher Sonny Gray and acquired speedy outfielder Josh Stowers who could blossom into this type of player The Yankees traded pitcher Sonny Gray to the Cincinnati Reds, and the right-hander has reached an extension with his new team. He reportedly signed a three-year, $30.5 million extension covering 2020-22, with a club option for 23. The deal is part of a three-way trade with the Seattle Mariners. Second base prospect Shed Long, acquired from the trade for Gray, is headed to the Mariners. Seattle is sending center field prospect Josh Stowers to New York. The Yankees also received the Reds' 2019 competitive balance round a draft pick no. 36 overall, giving New York two of the first 36 picks and three of the top 68. The Yankees also traded left-handed minor league pitcher Reaver San Martin to the Reds. Who is Josh Stowers? Zero hours, zero minutes and 30 seconds New York Yankees have acquired speedy outfielder Josh Stowers. Here is a little background information about the newest Yankee prospect. Josh Stowers is a 21-year-old outfielder who was a second-round pick in last year's MLB draft. He's also the newest Yankee. New York acquired Stowers from the Mariners on Monday in the same trade that sent RHP Sonny Gray to the Cincinnati Reds. The Yankees will receive the Reds' 2019 competitive balance round a pick no. 36 overall, while the Mariners will receive Red second base prospect Shed Long. Cincinnati will also receive Yankees minor league LHP Reaver San Martin. Tony Romo, Mark J. Rebelis, USA Today Sports, CBS NFL analyst Tony Romo knew exactly what calls the Patriots were calling before they happened in Sunday's AFC Championship game. Maybe his psychic abilities will translate to baseball free agency. Bryce Harper, one of the biggest free agents still available in the open market, thinks Romo knows where he'll play on opening day. February 23, 2018, Tampa, Florida, USA, New York Yankees general manager Brian Cashman prior to the game at George M. Steinbrenner Field. Mandatory credit, Kim Clement USA Today Sports, Kim Clement, on the heels of trading Sonny Gray to the Reds, the Yankees reportedly signed right-handed reliever Danny Farquhar on Monday to a minor league deal with an invitation to Major League Spring Training, per MLB.com, S. Mark Feinson. Farquhar, 31, suffered a life-threatening brain hemorrhage and ruptured aneurysm early last season while with the White Sox. Farquhar was on the road to recovery months later, and threw out the ceremonial first pitch for Chicago in June. He said, then, that he hoped to be back and playing for the 2019 season. New York Yankees starting pitcher Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP Photo, Nick was his AP, the Yankees were finalizing a trade of Sonny Gray to the Reds on Saturday, reported John Heyman to Bankard, but the deal has not yet become official. The Athletics' Ken Rosenthal noted Sunday that one potential delay in the deal being completed could be that the Reds are trying to sign Gray to an extension first.
Gray and the Reds have until the end of the day Monday to agree to an extension, according to Heyman. Should they not reach an agreement, it is possible the Yankees could negotiate with other teams, as Heyman notes the Giants, Ace, Brewers and Braves could be in the mix. July 17, 2018, Washington, D.C., USA, American League outfielder Mike Trout of the Los Angeles Angels, 27, takes a selfie with American League outfielder Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees, 99, and American League outfielder Mookie Betts of the Boston Red Sox, 50, during the third inning in the 2018 MLB All-Star Game at Nationals Ballpark. Mandatory credit, Tommy Gilligan USA Today Sports, Tommy Gilligan, for the second straight year, Aaron Judge of the Yankees has been ranked as MLB Network's top right fielder in baseball. And this time, he topped the reigning MVP. Judge took the honors over Mookie Betts of the Red Sox even though Betts tore up the sport in 2018, hitting .346, .438, with 32 homers, 47 doubles, and 30 stolen bases in 136 games, while continuing to be one of the best defensive right fielders in the game. Like Betts, Judge was limited by injury in 2018. He played in just 112 games due to a broken wrist, hitting .278, .392, .528 with 27 homers and 22 doubles, and 6 steals. September 29, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado, 28, fields and throws to first for an out in the fourth inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Isaiah J. Downing USA Today Sports, Isaiah J. Downing, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives as spring training approaches, there are still some roster decisions in front of the Yankees as they try to push to the head of the pack in the American League in the chase for a 28th World Series title, here is an update of rumors surrounding the Yankees' pursuits, followed by my take on how things currently stand and may shake out. Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado celebrates after hitting a home run during the first inning against the against the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the 2018 NLDS at Dodger Stadium. Rude Max in USA Today Sports, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, free agent infielder Manny Machado has met in recent days with at least one unidentified suitor, according to Major League sources. There are at least two mystery teams pursuing Machado, in addition to the Phillies and White Sox. Additionally, the Yankees have kept an open line of communication with Machado's camp, even after signing infielder DJ. Lemayu, sources say September 30, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado, 28, takes a basis on balls walk in the eighth inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Ron Chinoy USA Today Sports, Ron Chinoy, with the Yankees' potential interest in Nolan Arenado over Manny Machado, as reported by SNY's Andy Martino, it begs the question, which third baseman would you rather have? Arenado and Machado are both similar players, and the Yankees also have a pretty good up-and-coming third baseman already on their roster in Miguel Andujar, let's break it down, Peter Aiken, when... Troy Tulowitzki was released by the Blue Jays back in December, it appeared his MLB career was coming to a close, he hadn't seen a diamond in the big since July, 28, 2017, as recovery from heel surgery wasn't the eight weeks the Blue Jays thought it would be, but then there was his open showcase at Long Beach State in December that changed that narrative. Being a five-time All-Star normally piques the interest of MLB front offices, but Tulowitzki's workout at his alma mater opened some eyes to the point where offers were put on the table. And Long Beach State head coach Troy Buckley, who helped conduct the workout, knows exactly why. Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, Mel Zitter is already thinking about summer nights at Yankee Stadium, watching two of his former pupils working in the bullpen, wearing pinstripes. That's going to be a trip, Zitter says, chuckling. It should be a point of pride for Zitter, since he runs youth service, the Brooklyn Sandlot Club that new Yankee teammates Dylan Bettences and Adam Ottavino both pitched for in the mid-2000s. Jane Kamian Wunsa, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, maybe Alex Cora was simply playing to the crowd at the Boston Baseball Writers' Dinner Thursday night.
but suffice it to say he didn't seem concerned that the Yankees had just added another weapon, Adam Ottavino, to the best bullpen.